What inspires me to create the obvious answer would be skies. I love looking at skies. I love looking at cloud formations, colors, sunsets, sunrises. Kind of secondary to that would just be nature itself. I find nature very inspiring. Um, our family was on vacation um, on Vancouver Island and for the whole week I pretty much just wanted to paint because it was so beautiful. And I think the other thing that really inspires me is people and their stories. I really like um, creating pieces for people and kind of thinking about what kinds of colors or um, moods would suit their situation at a specific time and to create something for them. Um, I think that's very meaningful for me. Creating affects me because if I don't create, I'm not me. I feel like creating is such an essential part of who I am. Uh, I've gone through periods of my life where I haven't been able to create and I've felt myself wither inside. I knew I wanted to pursue being an artist um, at the beginning of 2020. It's a pretty recent development for me. Up to that point, art had kind of been a hobby. I enjoyed doing it on the side. But then in 2019, my dad passed away unexpectedly. And that part of it was just like going through the grief of it, but also it made me rethink my life and what my, my life priorities were. And, and then the pandemic happened and it was just like, whoa, even more, like if life were to end unexpectedly for me, what have I done with it? And how have I lived out who I know myself to be? And so I knew that if I didn't give art a shot, I was short selling myself. The greatest benefit of being an artist, to me, is the continued impact of my work. So I can create a piece, it goes off to somebody's home or office, and it, it can continue to speak to the person. Um, and like I said before, I like, I like to create pieces that give people a space to rest. And so knowing that my work can continue to do that, you know, wherever my pieces are in the world, it, it's a very satisfying feeling. My process for planning a painting out uh, usually begins with a photograph or two, depending on what the needs of the project are. Sometimes I'll, I'll combine like a, um, a photo of the land kind of forms with a different photo of the sky and kind of mesh the two together. Uh, and then usually I'll do a little either digital or physical mock-up of it, especially if I'm blending two photos together. I'll do a, a small um, mock-up of it to see if it works if, and what needs changing. And, and then I'll get my canvas and move it to the to the canvas. What inspires me about Port Coquitlam and the Tri-Cities is nature and people. I think uh, the surroundings that we have here, the river, um, the mountains, it's all really beautiful. And the people, I feel like there's a, a nice community feel. It's not a big city. Um, it's not a small, tiny town, but I, yeah, I really enjoy that kind of medium-sized uh, city. The greatest challenge I face as an artist is time. For me right now, at this point in my life, 
I have two elementary aged children. I have another business with my husband. Uh, and then I have a household to run. So I think my biggest challenge is, is finding or creating or protecting <laughs> the time that I have to create. And then the other challenge would be space because I don't have a studio. So I, I basically have to take everything out when I'm gonna paint and then put everything away when I'm done. And, and it would be nice to have a space that's just dedicated to my work and, and I could just walk in and leave when I'm done, but that'll come. I would say my artwork definitely helps to serve others. A lot of it is for others. I hope, what I hope to um, achieve, I guess, through my art is to create spaces for people to rest. I think in our society these days, we're very driven, we're very productivity focused, and it's hard for us to take those moments to kind of quiet ourselves and calm ourselves and rest. And, and I feel like through my art, especially through the skies, um, I hope to offer people that opportunity, like when they see it, that they can just, you know, exhale and, and take that moment to rest. Um, I think too, it's not just for others, it's for myself. Um, I am a very driven person and I also, in the process of creating paintings, it invites me to slow down. But then also once the paintings are done, when I look at them, it's like a, ah, okay, an invitation for me to rest too. Um, and so that's, yeah, I think one of the main ways that I, my art serves people. And then a second way that I've found since the pandemic is, um, I started this movement called the Little Arts of Kindness and um, it began during the pandemic when I was going to get COVID tested and I realized that the testing center never was meant to be a testing center. It was like a medical clinic that kind of switched over because there was a need in the Tri-Cities and that that testing center was um, closing because the staff were all burnt out. And so when I heard their story and I knew that I was gonna be one of the last people to be in that clinic as a COVID test, um, I wanted to give them something to appreciate them. And so I gave, I had all these small two by two paintings that were sitting around. And so I decided to bring them and, and give them as thank yous to the frontline workers. And then after that, I had some left over, so I just, posted it online and asked for nominations. And, and after that, um, people liked the idea. And so I opened it up to other artists and, and it became this thing where there were other artists in BC and Alberta and, and Ontario and um, even Nova Scotia. And it was really exciting to see um, kind of this vision of, of using art to encourage people um, at a time where everyone was isolated. So I think, yeah, art for me is definitely a way of serving. Locals can support and find me on social media. On Instagram, I'm at Olive Chan Art. On Facebook, I'm also at Olive Chan Art. And I have a website, uh, olivechanart.com.